Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Classroom. This video covers using the stream in Google Classroom. The first tab in Google Classroom is your stream, and this is a page where you can post announcements, reminders, links, videos, and more, as well as have a discussion with all the students in your class. For example, you might just want to use the stream to give your students a friendly reminder. Simply click on the link to share something with your class and put in your reminder. When you go to post this, you can click the post button to post it immediately, or you can click the down arrow to the right of that to schedule the post for later. I'll just post it right now. In addition to reminders, you could also share website links, videos, and more through the stream. For example, let's say we want to share a website link. We'll start a new post, and then below the post, we'll click the Add button, where we can add files from our Google Drive, a web link, an uploaded file, or a YouTube video. We'll add a web link. We simply paste in the link that we want to add, and then we can post that to our class. Or we could share a video with the class to view. Here we'll click the Add button and choose YouTube. We can either search for a video or put in the link if we already have it. Click the Add button and then we can post this to the stream. If you want, you can also allow your students to post in the stream and you could use this to have a question of the day. For example, we could post a question for our students to respond to. So let's see what this looks like from the student's point of view. In the stream, they'll be able to see your reminders, click on your web links, watch the videos you've shared, or respond to your question. Anything the students post in the stream will be visible to the rest of the class. By default, students can post in the stream as well, so they can use this to ask you or their classmates questions or to share a resource. For example, Of course, it is possible that a student could post something inappropriate. If that happens, you have a few options for handling that as a teacher. We'll come back over to the teacher view, and when we find the inappropriate comment, we can click on the three dots to the right of that comment, and we can delete the comment if we wish to. We can also mute that student so they are no longer able to post in the stream until we unmute them. On the other hand, if you don't want your students posting in the stream as an entire class, you can change that up in your settings. Go to the settings gear in the top right, and then scroll down to the section on the stream, and you can see you have options to either allow students to post and comment, or only allow them to comment, meaning they can reply to your posts but cannot generate their own new posts, or you can choose that only you, the teacher, can post and comment in the stream. An important thing to notice about the stream is the posts are listed chronologically. So you probably will not want to use this for things that the students need to return back to days or weeks later, but rather for information that they need right now. Also, nothing in the stream is gradable, so you would not use this for gradable assignments. That will be done in the Classwork tab instead. So those are the basics for using the stream in Google Classroom. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Classroom. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash classroom videos.